All right, Series 2, hey. Zero Eleven here. And today, we got a Hobby Box, 2021, Upper Deck Series 2. Eight cards back, 24 packs per box. Then you give a box, we're getting six young guns, four canvas, and four portraits. That's what's guaranteed in here, but there are some things you can get in Series 2 that you cannot get in Series 1. For example, OPG updates, they're available in here. I'm not too huge on them, but they are available in here. Here are the odds for everything, I'll just throw it out there right now. I'm opening 14 boxes, so we should be seeing most of these. But other than that, some other stuff you can only find in Series 2, fluorescence, rookie breakouts, this new box filler thing, that's one in 288. And the canvas cards, you can actually get POEs and retired stuff which is pretty interesting. Another thing to point out, Dazzlers are back. They're 1 in 24 for the blue. The pinks are 1 in 144. There should be parallels for the retail, which I think is coming out in April. Day with a Cup is in here. Just pictures of them celebrating with the cup. The lightning back in the bubble there. They're 1 in 1,000 packs. So there's a lot here. Jeez. But it's Series 2. We're looking for the young guns. This crop is highly questionable. Not at the top, but the depth is not good. After doing a lot of research, majority of these players are literally depth players, have barely played or have little to no upside. But there are some standouts. The best player to hunt in here is Tim Stutzla. That's the top player in there. The German on the sends there. Really flashy player. Really exciting player. The next one will be Kirill Kaprizov. He's older. He's about to be 24. He's already played in the KHL for several years. He's actually in McDavid draft year 2015. But he's already looked great and he will win the Calder this year. Then after that, it gets tough. Dylan Cousins, I guess. But he's on the Sabres. That should be a big asterisk for any player. If you're on the Sabres, put an asterisk there. But he looks really good. Power forward player there. Then after that, it's just really tough. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good defensemen. We'll get to them when we pull him, but Kevin Lankinen, I guess, he hasn't been playing as good as of late, as of this recording, actually, had a pretty good game, but still, Kevin Lankinen, I'll throw him in there, and then after that, I don't know, I was gonna say Hoaglander, but Ty Smith, I'll throw in Ty Smith, DeAndre Miller's another one, but yeah, Ty Smith will round up the top five, he's been very, very good for the New Jersey Devils, so that's the top five, as of the release date for 2021, Series 2. So let's get right into it, I got 14 boxes and a bunch of retail open, so let's just get right into it. Before I continue on, this box cost 149, pretty freaking good, not gonna lie this stuff is going for like 180 canadian and i don't even know how much us i've seen us sites have for like 175 but yeah, let's open this up. Okay, Series 2. First time seeing this. We got John Tavares on the front. Here are the packs. There you go. Nice looking packs there. Digging the color combo on the packs here. But let's check this out. Let's see if the base is updated. And let's see if there's rounded corners on the young guns. Well, let's find out right now. But here's a base that doesn't look like a 2021 season base card. Dang, but Carey Price, same as Series 1 there. So it's card number 353, the corner. Oh, no. Are you kidding? <laughs> The base cards are rounded. Okay, that one's rounded. No. <laughs> Frick my bum. If they're all gonna be rounded, but there's Brad, Strawman, Brady Kachuk, and first pack, Connor Ingram, marquee rookies. He's like the fourth string because Kasky swells the third string for the Preds there, and he actually got in the game. Good for him. Drake Batherson, he's been good. Tyler Johnson and Sam Reinhardt. We do not have any updated pictures in here. I know Extended's coming out in June. Upper Deck Extended where there's 25 young guns. But again, we're not going to see like Trevor Zegris or Jamie Drysdale in there. I don't know what they're going to do with those players. But there's like a cutoff date for the Extended, which is upsetting. Because Series 2 right now, this crop is not good apart from the top, right? We could really use uh, some of the players that made their debut more recently. But OEL. I know Arthur Kaliev is going to be an extended, but Barzell, Anders Nilsson, so Cam Fowler, UD Canvas, this is like 1920 pictures. Victor Soderstrom, Dazzler's rookie, so there's rookie Dazzler's. All the portraits are going to be rookies, but there's a Soderstrom rookie there. You got Dom Kubalik, Pavel Bushnevich, there we go, there's a potentially a bubble card there, and uh, Rupe Hintz. Okay, continuing on here, hoping to see more cards of players that are from the 2021 season, but there's Mika Rantanen, Felino. There's Jake DeBrusque. There is Reed Duke, marquee rookies. So another update there. There's Jordan Stahl, Whalers, Roman Yossi, Ryan Getzlaff, and Jane Schwartz. That must be the playoffs there where they lost to the Canucks. Okay, come on, suspense. No young guns yet. We gotta see if those corners are rounded. Maybe I'll sell the case. Calvin DeHaan, Ben Sherratt, Oscar Lindblom, and Mark Shifley, Yudi Canvas. That's obviously another 1920 picture there. Sorensen, Capo Caco, Sean Corrali, and Pat Maroon. Okay, come on, here we go. All right, here's a moment of truth. Jeff Skinner, there's a Nuge, Claude Giroux, I'm scared. Andreas Athanasiu, don't be rounded. Okay, Nikolai Kanajov, uh, Young Guns. I'm not gonna have the values this release day, but tomorrow I should. Um, that's not too bad, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's solid, there we go, yay. Hopefully they're all like that, but there's Kanajov, he's a defenseman from Russia. He's been a regular, I'm pretty sure, so. That's an okay one, it's just a defenseman, though. That's, yeah, Nick Paul, Jake Vertanen, and Derek Ryan. 
Okay, continuing on here. I mean, there's some solid defensemen. I said it earlier. Ty Smith, Keandre Miller, Ian Mitchell. There's more I'm just forgetting now. There's Robin Leonard. Those are really cool pads there. Jake Muzzin. There's Tucker Pullman. And Vitek Vanacek. Marquee rookies. He's looked really good or not so good. But there's Vanacek. He's been solid there. But yeah, I think Nadelkovic is actually leading some statistical things for goaltenders like save percentage and goals against average. But he has rookies in 17-18. Arvidsson, Gergensons, Weger, and Joel Faraby. I think I have his future watch. Next mail, I'll open it up. Got a package from Upper Deck, so we'll see. But yeah, let's uh, continue on here. Just got the one Young Guns Kanijov, so... Or the Kanijov. I think it's Kanijov or Kanijov. It's one of those. Jordy Ben, Shea Theodore, there's Kale McCarr, there's Patrick Marlowe, and William Lagason. Young Guns. Not rounded corners. Good job, Upper Deck. But there is Lagason, another depth defenseman. He's had some decent offensive numbers, but still, he's mid-20s. A lot of these guys are like mid-20s. Depth players, which isn't overly exciting, but Nicholas Jomerson, Beauvillier, and Chris Tierney. That being said, Tim Stutzler could be the best player from 2021. I mean, this prop is kind of derailed if you think about it. It. Maybe you blame the thing going on, if you know what I mean, but that may have impacted some of the top players having to go through all that. And yeah, this crop isn't as good as what most of us thought, right? Like, I'm not calling Lafreniere a bust at all, but just not as exciting as expected. But Bjork, there's Kane and Dreisaitl, Matt Roy, Sid, Ole Levy, Portraits Rookies, and you got Huberto, Ranta, Philpola. So yeah, the portraits, I'm not a fan of the portraits, but they're all rookies in Series 2, so there's Mike Hoffman, so what the heck is this crap? He's on the blues now, come on. It's a bubble card, though. Um, Keller, Fabry, Slavin, and hey, Nils Hoaglander, Young Gun, so that's a good one there. I'm just gonna send this one to James, I don't know if he wants him, but I'm just gonna put it to the pile, so. Nils Hoaglander, that's definitely a top 10 one, top 5 one there. Feisty player, I would say, got some skill there, so one of the best rookie, Nils Hoaglander, so. Sergachev, Zach Aston Reese, and Mackenzie Blackwood. Let's see if Hoaglander goes with Kaprizov or Stutzla, but like Kaprizov and Stutzla are far and away the best rookies available in here, but see if we get a hobby exclusive card in here as well, but Anton Hudobin, Andrei Svechikov, Warren Fogel, Alec Regula, marquee rookie. I don't think he's played yet, but he was a part of the Brendan Perlini trade with Detroit. So there's Regula, retro marquee rookie there. There's Burkowski, Freddie Anderson, Jamie Benn, and Vlad Tarasenko. Okay, so we got Hoaglander. That's pretty good. So uh, we got Darren Helm, we got Sam Steele. Arturi Lekkinen, Brett Connolly, and next young gun, Jordan Gross. See what I mean? This guy's a depth defenseman. Thrilling. Mid-20s depth defenseman. Like, doesn't get more exciting than that, I guess. But no offense to Jordan Gross, but not exciting. Uh, we got Vince Dunn. Jonathan Quick and Marcus Patterson. And we'll get into what you can get in the case when I start to open the case. I will have another box probably tomorrow. Actually, most likely tomorrow I'll open another box. But first up, we got Alex Nylander. We got Nick Schmaltz, Logan Couture. There's Anthony Angelo, Portraits Rookies. That's an okay one there, Anthony Angelo. Joel Erickson Eck. Dreisaitl, Justin Hall, and Ryan Graves. So we got some cards from the bubble there, likely. So that's nice. Okay, next pack up here. Oscar Sundquist, Tyler Bozak, Ben Hutton, and Darren Radish. Young Guns. I don't think he's played, right? He's just been in the bubble, but his legacy for me right now, he got signed by Chicago initially, but he's a part of the Connor McDavid Erie Otters. That's how I'll remember Darren Radish. But yeah, he's pretty much there from the beginning when McDavid came in and left. So there's Darren Radish, another mid-20s defenseman. Yeah. Michael Kepney. Mikheyev, Pacioretty, and Spezza. So just a heads up if you're paying 180 a box. It's just suspect if you're not getting the top rookies there. There's Nyevnyeni Kuznetsov. There he is. Ryan Reeves, Kyle Connor, Yegor Sharangovich. That's a good one there. He's been darn solid for them. Threw me off a little. Uh, wearing 17 on the New Jersey Devils, huh? Yeah, threw me off a little bit there, but he's been very good. Right there, Sharangovich. So that's a nice one there. Top 10 one, I would say. Um, Brent Burns, Corey Perry, Adam Boquist, and Jake Gardner. Okay, next pack up here. All right, there's Jacob Vrana. There's Adam Gaudet, Connor Hellebuck, Mark Andre Fleury, and I won't miss a French, right? There's Alex Belzile. Depth guy, Young Guns. Yeah, again, not overly exciting there, but again, six in a case for the Canvas Young Guns 148 packs, but there's Belzile. Mantha, Troy Terry, and Victor Mete. So a lot of these guys are a whole lot of meh. Okay, we got Jared McCann, Jonas Brodeen, Chase on. Alex Dabrinka, he's been good this year. UD Canvas. There's Jack Roslovic, Edler, Backstrom, and Valerie Nichushkin. 
Okay, the first box here, I will be going slow with the base. But once we get into the case, it's going to go fast. But there's Johnny Goudreau. Interesting base card there. There's Carl Hagelin. There's nice Austin Matthews. There we go. That's from the bubble, right? That's that's cool right there. Austin Matthews. Okay. There's Mackenzie Entwistle, former Bulldog. Hamilton Bulldog is Mackenzie Entwistle. I'm not sure if he got in the game. He might have gotten an A game, but I don't think he did. I don't remember. But there's Entwistle. Bubble player there. Um, Chris Drieger. Malcolm Subban. Derek Stepan and Mario Ferraro. I don't know if I've seen a 2021 card yet. That's not a young gun. So from the base, that is. So there's Travis Dermott, Ian Cole, Brendan Smith, Anthony Sorelli, Kale McCarr, award winners. I believe these are like one in 60 packs. Award winners, the Calder Trophy there. So there you go. Barbashev, Chara still on the Bruins, not on the Caps there. And you got Matthews and Elias. Checklist there. So there's cards 351 to 450. K. Okay. Okay, next pack up, Series 2 here. All right, we got Jordan Greenway. Oh, we got a Rookie Materials? I have not seen these yet. Okay. Adam Pellick? Who is it of? Come on, good name. 27. Okay, Alexander Alexiev, Rookie Materials. So, decent defensive prospect there. For the Caps, he's been in the KHL this year. But there you go, big piece there. Worn by the featured player, so he probably wore this little piece for like two seconds. So, there's that. There is Andrew Mangiapane, Ponick, and Stevenson. Okay, final five pack. So, we got Rookie Materials. I believe those are like one in 58 packs. Let me just check here. Yeah, they're one in 55 packs. Okay. But we got Ryan Johansson. We got Cam Fowler. Ooh, we got a, maybe a fluorescence. What the heck is this? Justin Falk. Yeah, it must be fluorescence. Uh, Brendan Lemieux, Dennis Gurionov, Dustin Brown, and Josh Bailey. So, got a fluorescence. Looks like it's a gold. Ooh, okay, nice. Nick Robertson, sweet. Fluorescence. Awesome there. That's uh, 76 150. So, he's been on the Marlies. He's Angel Caliber. I mean, they've lost BC and Boyd to waivers. Like, people are wondering who they should give a shot. This guy, this guy's gonna be really good. So, I'm looking to get both Robertson brothers from 2021. Jason's been really solid for the stars, but. There's Nick. Awesome right there. Really like that. So there's the pole of the box right there. Robertson fluorescence. Okay. All right. There's uh, Matthias Eckholm, Seth Jones, Jesper Bratt, Nephew Tyler Nice, and Jake Ottinger. Marquee rookies. And I have to keep in mind that French are 1-30. in 30. They're not guaranteed in a box. But there's Jake Ottinger. He's been a regular in the lineup because of Bishop's injury and varying results for him. Him and Hudobin. Dallas hasn't been that good this year. But there's Jake Ottinger. He's promising. He's looked pretty good. Uh, we got Andrew Kopp, Tom Wilson, and Elias. Okay. All right, three more packs of the first of 14 boxes plus a bunch of retail. Kevin LeBanc, Philip Heedle, David Krejci, Nikita Kucherov. He's been out all year, so that's definitely not a 2021 card. Victor Soderstrom, marquee rookie. Same picture every time, but that's the blue one. Ooh. Uh, we got Vlasov Gavrikov, Ryan Dezingle, he's on the Sens again, uh, Paul Byron. All right, two more packs here. Kind of disappointed we don't have any, like, updates here. Come on, have Dezingle on the Sens again. But, uh, we got Thomas Shabbat, got Antoine Roussel, Sean Monaghan, Milan Lucic, Ryan McLeod, Portraits Rookies. Uh, saw him on the Steelheads there, but there's McLeod. I don't think he got in a game, just a bubble player, but there's Ryan McLeod. Uh, Carter Rowney, Brennan Montour, and Damon Severson. All right, final pack of the first spot. Let's see what we get here. Do we need a Young Guns? I'm not sure. But no rounded corners, that's nice. I mean, the base is kind of rounded, but it is what it is. There's uh, Belmar. There's Vasilevsky. Always has that intense stare. Best goal in the league right there. Gustav Nyquist and Stuart Skinner. Fortress rookies. He has gotten in because of injuries to uh, Koskin and Smith. So he has played this year for the Oilers. Uh, young goalie there. So Tyler Johnson, Line A, still on the Jets. Cody Glass and Mark Giordano. So yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 2021 Series 2. Proceed with caution. Exceptionally top-heavy uh, crop. I mean, we got some good ones there. Sharon Govich is pretty good. And uh, Hoaglander. So those are two good ones there. But you'll get your Jordan Gross and Darren Rash cards where it's just not exciting to pull. But all in all, Series 2. I mean, I love Series 1 Series 2. It's like one of the most enjoyable products to open. I would recommend it. But just keep that in mind. It's like Stuart Slant, Kaprizov, and then everybody else. There are some good ones in between, like Cousins. But still, keep that in mind. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. we got another box tomorrow. And we'll have a case. So a lot coming to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys later.